Welcome back to John Bozzi and basically today what I want to do is show you how to make um, well put your bullets onto your, your wiring without using a solder gun because a solder gun sometimes doesn't want to get hot enough and not only that um, the hassles of using jigs and stuff like that when the phase wires are quite wide and they don't want to fit into the bullets nicely without a lot of hassles um, I, it is possible, but it's quite a messy um, ordeal, basically. Um, I usually use one of these, but it can get kind of dodgy as well. So what I'm going to show you is, is a simple way with this um, anti-sparks, um, which have, have a special kind of hard plastic housing, which I kind of like. It's really solid in. And the bullets are much bigger. I think they're 7 millimeter. So we we're looking at putting, this is the outside housing, it doesn't matter here for colours because um, basically we're going yellow, green, blue and I don't have yellow, green, blue. So ideally this is not not got enough plastic uh, exposed, uh, sorry, too much plastic. Yeah. So I'll just quickly cut this off. <coughs> This is a bitch, this stuff. It's not, not your uh, soft, soft silicon. So, just let me quickly get this. <coughs> hey, I wasn't expecting to run into this problem. Yeah. And um, the other two actually came off nicely. This, this one's a bit of a pain in the bum, to be honest. Uh, sorry about this. This is, wasn't expecting have to do this suddenly but better better to be safe than sorry and it's not going to be bad to have that hanging a bit wider just peel it back and then it can kind of do what it wants to do later so you basically put put your on your your housing and push that right down i got a nice wet wet rag it's an old t-shirt that'll wrap wrap around my wires because I don't want them getting hot for as long as, as keep keep them as cool as possible basically and this should be a nice way to hold it as well so I'll just pull these white otherwise out the way really inflexible this stuff it's not your lovely lovely stuff we've been used to and so we're basically going to put this here let's see it see how it kind of just so easily it's got a lot of space in there so that plastic will kind of hold it in place too and it kind of leans nicely it's a nice little hang down like a droopy ding dong uh, so we're just going to kind of push that down because eventually we're going to want to flatten this flatten this down and push it in with our hands so we practiced it and now just kind of lift it up a little just let it kind of bend down a bit because I don't want to overheat the wires too much I'm going to push the wire in at the end so just kind of that's not, not what we want basically that plastic's kind of pissing me off to be honest all right so there we are that should basically do it there's enough there's enough space in there to do what we got to do um, and just move a few things out of the way that might overheat and just actually move this over to the edge here so make that a bit better and sorry I'll have to move this so I don't get heat on the GoPro I'll make sure I don't anyway hopefully that's not too hot I'll just drop that down about there so okay it's getting a bit long this video sorry about that but we're gonna do it so what we're gonna use is a really cheap $30 a heat gun but before I do that you gotta remember it gets really bloody hot otherwise we can't do the job I'll just use an oven glove uh, for my right hand the left hand's got the wet and I like to feel the temperatures and get our solder ready cheap, cheap Chinese crap uh, and 
scratch myself for the mozzies. So here we go. This is not quite as nice as it was before. So we're heating her up and I can also do that much faster. Just te checking the temperatures aren't Yes, they are. Don't like that over there. Don't like it bouncing this way. Just checking the heat. Heat's not coming onto the GoPro too much there. All right. So. We're going to pop our solder in at the top now. If it's not heating up fast enough for you, just hit. let's hit the hot. Now it cools immediately. Don't need it that hot. Keep it up, keep it up. Running out of solar line. Alright, now keep that hot and turn it off, lay it down, push it in, keep it straight. down that bullet too. She's hot. And unwrap. Check the temperature there. It's not too bad at all. And just give it a cool down. Make sure it's all cool. Less less heat to the control of the bed obviously with batteries it'd be even even more the case uh, so that'll be quite hot that and you can see quite a bit of humidity oh no humidity um, condensation under there and just checking for the strength of the bond and it's very strongly bonded that's that's with no what's it called wicking or whatever you call it and so that's nice and solid and so you can have a, have a quick look at what it looks like there up close um, you can see there's uh, a really nice patch there and I always check always check underneath sometimes it leaks out like that you can't see it see it if it has leaked out you can quickly blow that hot to blow that off just on the outside and it just the air blows it straight off with the heat it's beautiful so you can quickly check to see if it's going to be an issue for the housing and the housing just twists on so easily and it's not an issue at all twisted on perfectly and you can see the housing's beautiful so we got our three well my green's much shorter than my blue I must have cut cut that nastily uh, well they're probably better off not touching each other so yeah and that's it if you have any questions let us know sorry for a long vid dudes